Welcome to a new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. I got a question a couple of days ago from a guy named Hasegawa Naoki. I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it, but you know. Uh, and he, he asks, I want to know how to make objects change color inside UE4. Uh, and so I guess that means how to make them change color while playing. And so I'm gonna show you now how you can trigger them to change color and how to just have the materials color change color con continuously while playing. Uh, so I'm gonna start by, and as you can see I'm using the first person template. I'm gonna start by selecting the content browser uh, the content folder and right clicking and take new folder and I'm gonna call this my materials and inside here we're gonna create three materials first one will be color change one and another one color change two very inventive names yes and last one color change three yes now open the first one and drag out the node from the base color and search for vector parameter here we go Hello. There we go. <laughs> Strange things. Okay, so now we have the material expression vector parameter. Or a color, you know. <laughs> so the default value, click that. And let's make this completely green. Then up here in the current color theme, click here. No. Don't click there, just take the new color and drag it up here. This way we can easily find it later. So just take OK and give the parameter a name. I'm just going to call it color change 1. Save it. Now do the same for the next color drag out the base color, search for vector param and here click the default value again I'm gonna make this just clean red and drag this up here again so it's easy to find later on okay and parameter name color change to save and once again drag out base color vector param param and this one can be blue it's a nice color yes so now Drag this up here and place it there. Okay. Color change 3 will be the name for that one. Because this name is the name you need to remember later on. Well, that depends a little bit how you do it, but we will certainly need the first one. Okay, now we will simply use this entire static mesh wall to change the colors so I will take the first color and just drag it onto the wall let it go boom okay so for this magic trick we are gonna use matinee good old matinee so click matinee and add matinee and I'm gonna attach it up here now back into the browser select the wall 
and then back into the matinee. In this area, right click, add new empty group. Um, color changing. Yeah, it's still. It's very important that it is selected while doing this, or else it will not work. So now, right click inside of the new group and go all the way down to add new vector material parameter track. So let's say it will change the color every second. So I'll take this little green arrow thing and drag it into three seconds. Um, now with this material param track selected, you see in the details up here, target materials. So click this three times since we're going to use three colors. Now just find them and here we have it, color change one, next one, color change two, next one, color change three. And the parameter name must be the same as this one. So color change one. Now we will set create key uh, keys along the timeline. So you do that by pressing enter. So make sure you are at the very first zero 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 press enter to set a key and then take it to one second and set a new key and two seconds and set the third key now we can adjust this to make sure it's right so right click on this red the end of it and just take move to longest track end point now select the first key up here and then right click set color now you can simply select the color we put up uh, to refresh your memory the one we set up here you know that is the one we can easily select now here so just click that that's how you make sure that you get the exact same color now on the third one, I mean the second one, select it, right click, set color, then choose red. Okie dokie. And then the last one, select, right click, set color, blue. Like this. Okay. Now that should be it. So now when we play this, the material will change. So now back into the viewport we will find the matinee actor inside of the world outliner here we have it and with it selected go into blueprints level blueprints as far as I know it's not possible to um, use matinee in blueprint classes so you have to use the level blueprint if you want to use matinee so with the matinee actor selected right click create a reference to matinee actor now drag this out and search for loop set looping state then drag out another one and search for play like this and make sure the target is connected to the matinee actor and make sure new looping is checked and out from this one drag that out and search for uh, events begin play so as soon as the game starts, it will start to change color and it will be looping over and over. So compile 
and exit the matinee actor. Fly shit. And I'm just gonna save, just in case. And now, behold, play. Yay! Awesomeness. So that's pretty cool. So that's one way you can do it. And the next way is to trigger it to begin to change. So I'm going to disable the looping and the event begin play. And instead, I'm going to drag out another one. We're going to take reverse. Because then it will play the color changing and then it will reverse it. And that's a little fun, you know. Uh, so go back in here and search for a box trigger. Drag it into the scene. Make it as big as you want. I want it this big. Now, with that selected, go back into the level blueprints. Right click and add event for trigger box 1, collision, add on actor begin overlap, and we will add another one for add on actor end overlap. So when you begin the overlap, it will play it, and then when you exit the overlap, it will reverse it. And compile. Oh, yeah, and make sure the target... Oh, it thinks the looping is still active, so we're just gonna do it like this. Now it doesn't matter. <laughs> My bad. Let's see. Here we go, and we enter the trigger box, I guess. Well, to make sure we see it. I'm gonna select it, and then in the details, I will make it um, visible huh it says it's not hidden in game though oh no no I selected the wrong thing here we go there like this now it will be easier to see, see where we are. So here it is. We overlap it and it starts playing and it goes to blue. And then when it when we end the overlap, it reverses and goes back to green. So that's pretty cool. You can do a lot of cool things with this. Um so you know that's it. But if you would like it to be um We take it back to the looping. Fruity looping. Like this. And you don't want it to look like this and just skip to the green like that. You want it to be gradually from green to red to green, for example. Then go back into the matinee. And select the last keyframe the one which is blue and instead make it green so now it will be very nice yes so hope that was uh, what you wanted and have a great day <laughs>